Hi, this is Yan Wang. You guys can call me Philip, the team leader of the Yoyo Friends. And today we're going to go over the Yoyo Friends Fison 2023. Now, Yoyo Friends is the manufacturer and OEM FPM, and us players combine together to make awesome videos and give back to the Yoyo community. And uh, so, to start with the Fison 2023, we're going to go back to 2022 when we started this project. Uh, we want a Yoyo know, that is kind of dedicated to the Japanese market. Uh, as you guys know, the Fison, we actually made the original Fison in 2022 as a limited run only in spin gear. But now this is like a revision of it. Um, so this is 2023, we made some changes. Uh, so now it's released. It's like a very limited release worldwide. Um, so uh, the history of this video is firstly, uh, like I said, we want to cater to the Japanese market. So what we did is we partnered up with our yo-yo player, Tomoki. So he interviewed like a lot of people, like 50 or something, a lot of yo-yo players, and they made like an Excel sheet on what they want. So they want like an all-out competition, uh, power stability yo-yo that is like, you know, very rim weighted and etc. And, you know, wide, beautiful competition, super meta. So that is like the most popular, you know, their demand. And we thought the yo would be very heavy, but no, they, they just, they, they like the yo light as well. So that, that's kind of, you know, I didn't expect that, you know, as a kind of a Western player, but okay, so um, this yo yo. Uh, so at the beginning, we made the Fison. Uh, it kind of looks more like a Fison mono metal. It's got stages, kind of like an H and W going on. Uh, it's have like a just a pure classic V shape. Uh, however, you know, they want just absolute more zippiness and pure performance. So they got rid of the stages, so it's not just a classic V shape going on. And the gap width now is kind of widened because you know during competition situations we're stacking strings, right? I have a I have a trick where I am stacking uh, strings as well. So they they want to like the yo know, to not to like you know snag etc. When you're stacking strings like this, so it's not gonna snag on you whatsoever. Um, yeah, so that is kind of you know very good for competition. And you know most players now use thicker strings. Uh, like Kitty XL, uh, Sochi Fat, those kind of strings, so they don't want any snag. So the gap is wider than usual. Uh, the yo is very full size, it's around, I think, 55, 56 millimeter uh, diameter, and uh, 46 ish, uh, or 47 ish, I think it's 46 ish um, in width. So if you combine that together, it's a very full size yo yo. It's a very Full size in your hand, uh, it's meant for landing tricks, huge catch zones uh, in contest. Uh, the weight is, is uh, 63.4 grams, it's 0.4 grams heavier than the original Fison. What we did is we raised the center bump, that is helping us on the uh, yield for manufacturing. Uh, it, it definitely helped, but it didn't help super much or as much as we want. So, this is why this is pretty expensive and a very limited run. So yeah, uh, okay, so I will have the spec of the Fison 2023 here. Okay, cool. Uh, power on this video is very powerful. I would say it's po more powerful than the original Fison 2022 or Fison. A uh, little bit more powerful because, you know, the, the added center weights. And uh, the overall weight is increased by 0 0.4 grams. It's 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 like 95 percent the same, but just like maybe five percent more powerful. Um, overall, very powerful yo-yo, a uh, very stable yo-yo. Uh, that is the stability. It goes hand in hand. The rim weight is extremely on the outside, and I bet one of the reasons why this is so hard to manufacture is too much rim weight. Um, no doubt about it. And I know I like when I say like okay, let's not add more rim weight, you know have that weight in the center, right? Uh, you know, if, if you, it's already this hard to manufacture, make it so it's easier and also kind of help improve like, you know, the flow and the acceleration of the yo-yo by adding it to the center. Um, any other quirkiness, you can just override it by just adding more weight, right? And that's what we did. So that is pretty cool. Uh, power stability, very, very good. Acceleration on this yo-yo, I would say it's, Beneath like a peregrine, um, it, it's bigger than a peregrine, it's it's clunkier, um, but I think at the very top speed, it's around the same. Um, once, like, you know, this is kind of the yo-yo that kind of is like, 
tag hyung or drop near like you gotta push it by yourself and then it will listen to you uh you don't listen to the yo-yo much the yo-yo does exactly what you want uh you know there are some yo-yo that have a lot of float and flow where it kind of carries the players this yo it's the player carrying the yo-yo so and uh, it's kind of that kind of yo-yo so top speed is very good acceleration i would say below like a like a, I would say like around a vulture. Acceleration is not super good, it, 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 but high end acceleration and radiation and high end top speed is very good. This is that kind of yo-yo. Okay, uh, it's meant for you know players to ov override it with their power. That's what it does. Because once you override it, the sixty three point four gram shows up. It's overall light yo-yo. So that yo now it becomes zippy. Okay, uh, and also you know we got rid of the center cuts the actual middleweight uh, to make the yo more zippy at the top end. Flow on the yo, uh, not too much, slightly more flowier than the original Fison because of the center cup race. Um, but overall, not too much has changed. Um, yeah, so it's just overall very, very minute and slight changes over the Fison 20, 22, or the original Fison. So it's catered to the Jam it's still catered to the Japanese market. And just a really good competition, you know, and um, you know, not that much flow. And float, it's pretty much non existence because a lot of rim weight, very vast amount of rim weight. It's like attacking on, it's like a, kind of like a peregrine. Things got more rim weight than peregrine, a lot more rim weight than peregrine. And you know, like I said, dropping like it's that kind of thing. Okay, so. Now, horizontal zoom is excellent. Why? Because it's very big catch though. Uh, and power stability is there to go along with it as well. So yeah, doing horizontal. But one thing I watch out, like I said, this hill is not very, very easy to, uh, I would say, I mean, it's easier to play if you are that kind of player who like to play a little bit harder, you know? Uh, like, okay, I want my able to do this, like, brute force it over there. This video loves that. It, it likes to be uh, played hard, right? And that's when the yo-yo becomes fast. The zippiness, the, the zippiness comes in, the speed comes in, and uh, it really shines through in that situation. So in horizontal, you gotta like really do it. You can't just like half ass your horizontal and expect, uh, cause this yo only listens to you. It's not gonna help you to carry you. It's waiting for you to carry it. So. Uh, overall pretty cool on that and the strain recommendation like I said this gap width is uh, I think it's 4.5 instead of normally we go around 4.45 but this is just 4.5 so as you can see I'm using kitty uh, normal so I am slipping a little bit and that is you know normal because I expect it to be because uh, most people use this kitty fat or kitty XL or Sochi fat Sochi XL and that's kind of the strain I recommend uh, I don't recommend using KD normal like I do. Uh, I use KD normal first class. Uh, you're gonna slip a little bit. This is because in contact situations, most people use this, those kind of strings, the fatter strings, for better slacks and also uh, just just better slack and uh, they have a way better whip. I'm I'm my tricks are like 2014. I don't have much slack or whips in it, so that's why I prefer KD string normal because. Uh, I can have more control and speed in that situation. So those are the strain I can re recommend. Uh, but this is still using the Yo-Yo Fans Ping Pad. So once it grabs, like once it grabs, it absolutely grabs. It's a lot more, uh, how does it, it's a lot more grippier than the Yo-Yo Fans original clear slash white pads, right? So once it grabs, it really grabs and snap back at you. So that's really cool. Um, yeah, so those are my string recommendations. I'm definitely on the thicker side. Uh, and also just step here to prevent any string rubs in horizontal and also helps with re rejection and binds as well. So you can go on a thicker string. It will handle it. It's 4.5. Finger grind on this video is good. Um, it's 76 a beat blasted finish. So yeah, no problem. It's smooth. Uh, it finger grinds no problem. Uh, thumb grinds, it's not super good because... Actually, it's okay. It, okay, so this is a 7068 here, and then it goes to SS. Yeah, so, but the lip is not very big. So I, I do have a bit of a fingernail, so I can do it. But if you're just using your finger, it's not the best. 
uh, finger spin, it's actually better, slightly above average, I would say, because even though there's a giant bump here, uh, on the outside, there's a groove. So what happens is your finger lock, kind of semi-locks in the groove, and it just swerves around. Uh, yeah, so the yo-yo goes like that. Oh, that's actually very hard bind back there. I said the pass is very grippy, but the gap width is big. So you gotta make sure it snags on back, like once you try to tug it, and then it'll just snap back at you, no problem. Okay, uh, right, finger spin, and you can see it swerves around, it kind of locks it, right? So you can pull a decent, like, finger spin on it, no problem. Uh, once you get into that groove, around the outside of the cup. So all in all, it's kind of like a, I won't say an upgrade, I would say it's like a, kind of a side grade on the Fison, the original Fison. Um, we made it so it's a little bit more powerful, a little bit more flowy, probably a little bit slower, but overall it's about 95% the same. Uh, it's just we made it so we got a little bit more higher yield, but it's still not looking too good. Uh, we, I'm not sure if we're gonna produce more of this, so it's gonna be very limited. But this video is darn good. Like I said, I think I did a video of like if the if the Martians are pointing their lasers at Earth and I had to uh, land all my tricks or, or they're gonna shoot. I'm definitely gonna pick the top three in the Yo-Yo fans lineup. It's the Vulture, the Graviton, and the Fison 2023. Uh, there's another video I want to talk about that later, but uh, that's the next video. So this is definitely if you want to go into a contest, you want to land your tricks for the sole purpose of that. This is pretty much one of the best in the Yo-Yo fans category. Um, everything about this, it's literally uh, exactly what most of the Japanese players said. Every single design ideas, the suggestions we took are from them. The design is us, but uh, any, all the suggestions, all the play testing are done by them. And uh, team at the Yo-Yo fans, you know, that's me as well. So, um, yeah, I, I didn't really guide them much. They just all, you know, collaborated and did it. Uh, so this is very, very cool. I think the what it stands out is just the, the ease of play, right? The only thing I can think of, like, the ease of play-wise is, like I said, the Vulture and the Graviton. It's got the step. It's got the massive catch, though. It's got the power and stability. And if you are a player who want to override the Yo-Yo, this one will be perfect for you. I would say this kind of mirrors a Peregrine. But a little bit more cutthroat, a little bit, and, and a lot better in contest because of the step. Even bigger, I mean, not bigger, but like the catch zone and also just how big it is, but still how maneuverable it is. So, that is review on the Fison 2023 Bimetal. Um, the next video will obviously, uh, will obviously be our first ever flagship monumental, the Fison. 2023 and I'm super excited about this video so I can't wait to make this video right now so thank you all for watching this is now available worldwide it is a bit expensive but like I said it's gonna be a very limited run the performance is up there in contests it's it's a no-brainer and uh, it's very very hard to produce so the yield percentage is still not high at all even after the redesign so yeah uh, grab it it's gonna be very limited so uh, thank you all for watching and see you guys next time peace